who thought this was a good idea? I don't understand. I can't fathom the thinking behind this. So it was just announced that there's going to be AI used with the Wheel of Time. This was announced yesterday and the headline reads, iWatt and Disruptive join forces as true source to unleash AI magic on Wheel of Time. Collaboration delivers the one power to remake the legendary fantasy epic into the world's First AI powered entertainment franchise. We are living in a dystopia. That's there's so much wrong with that phrase. I hate I hate it so much. Oh no, this is not a good start. Just need it. Okay, here we go. Today, iWalk Productions unveiled a new collaboration with Disruptive, an AI software pioneer to form True Source a joint venture company on a mission to transform Robert Jordan's acclaimed The Wheel of Time series into the first ever AI-enabled entertainment franchise. The company's AI service will be branded as One Power and will energize an array of products and services that will extend, expand, and enhance the franchise's current and future media formats, including books, television, movies, video games, and location-based entertainment. I just can't get over that AI-enabled entertainment franchise terminology. It just really screams we want cheap, fast, and lots of entertainment to just throw out there for people to pay for. And not only that, but we don't want to pay talented and passionate individuals who genuinely love the source material and want to delve into this story that's changed so many people's lives. Now, I do want to preface this with I don't think AI has no place in a creative field. It can definitely be used as a tool to help enhance some elements of certain formats and certain parts of the process. A good example is what I've seen with new video games is they are using AI models in NPC characters, so characters you just come across, to have full conversations with the player. So you're able to talk back and forth and they respond to what you say. So including things like that in video games, yes, I can see that being a great way to enhance creativity and where it's going. And the problem with AI is it's a Pandora's box. So now that it's open, it's never going to close again. It will be here whether we like it or not. But how it's utilised is going to be interesting. And I'm really worried about where this is going to go in some cases. And this is concerning. The collaboration between iWalk Productions and Disruptive signifies a groundbreaking shift in how fans engage with their favourite entertainment franchises. Disruptive's dedication to ethical application of AI technology complements iWalk Productions' goals of elevating the wheel of time from passive and static media into an immersive, interactive and personalised experience. The first product to channel the one power is The Guide, True Source's revolutionary personal digital companion that serves as the gateway to a comprehensive AI-powered database encompassing the entire Wheel of Time universe. Today, The Guide is fluent in 40 languages and able to understand more than 100. This language capability will be expanded to dozens of other languages, including the Old Tongue from the Wheel of Time, the guide will draw upon the one power to create an unparalleled franchise experience, inviting users to delve into every aspect of the world with extraordinary depth and personalization. Okay, if that is just sort of using AI to take the information from the books and then sort of formulate all this information together in a sort of guide where people can ask questions to a bot or something, get responses, I don't mind that so much. That is one of the okay uses of AI in my eyes. Users of the guide will be able to try out its capabilities for free, but extended use and access to the full suite of features will require a one power subscription. Beginning today, TrueSource is accepting applications for the beta, blah, 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 blah. I'm not surprised it's not free, but I do wonder why people would go to this and not the free wikis that are already online or go to channels and watch video breakdowns of certain aspects that they want to know more of from a passionate individual who loves this story rather than going and paying for this AI robot to just tell you the information. If it was free, it could be a really good tool for very specific information that one might want to get. But I do think if someone just wants 
an overview of the magic system or something like that. They would just go to YouTube and watch someone who's really excited and loves the book talk about it. That's way more entertaining than getting a wall of text from the AI. I also think the forums and the wiki pages of having this database and building up this database as a community, as people who are reading the stories and adding in the information as you're reading it or correcting changes, is a community in itself. And I do think you would lose a lot of that personal touch that you get from readers and actual people who are enjoying the story and taking out the emotional meanings behind things and putting it into the wiki, whereas the guide would probably just be raw information. And of course there is a benefit to just having raw information. I do think it's a shame to miss out on that community aspect of the Wikipedia and the forum pages as well. The One Power Service will also be embedded within Cards of Eternity, The Wheel of Time, a forthcoming digital trading card game from Ether Games that will be set in Robert Jordan's epic world of fantasy, where forces of light and shadow battle in a world teetering on the brink of apocalypse. That sounds familiar. Blending groundbreaking AI, masterful CGI and strategic gameplay, Cards of Eternity redefines the digital trading card game genre with a narrative driven experience that is as expansive as the story itself. Okay, this is more in the problematic area in my opinion. This card game where it's a digital card game and it's using groundbreaking AI and masterful CGI, strategic gameplay and expansive story. In this they really leave out in what aspects they are using the AI for. Like I said, I think it can be used as a powerful tool in the development of a game and I think in some cases for this it could be really good for things like the dialogue I was talking about earlier but they don't say what they're using the AI for, which has me very concerned. Like, are they going to start using it for all the artwork and the sprites and the different artistic elements in the game? Are they going to be using it for the writing in the game? I do want to know, if you hop over to Disruptive's website, where they have a page about this announcement and they have this big piece of art here, you can see all the really wonky pieces in this piece of art that they have on the official announcement website. I mean, what's this? That and it doesn't really relate to Wheel of Time. And we're not even going to talk about that. We're just, we're not going to talk about it. Here's an interesting line here. One power will adapt to the unique circumstances of each user, such as age, language, and familiarity with the Wheel of Time. So does that mean it's going to be like withholding certain information? Or does that mean it's going to change the language to become more accessible for younger readers that are perhaps not the age of what's recommended for the Wheel of Time. Again, I'm just guessing because they've left this so broad, they've not really said what they're using AI for, but that would imply they might be simplifying their language. So much of the magic is in the writing style of the Wheel of Time. Can you imagine a sort of simplified version of the prose for younger readers? No, it just wouldn't be the same experience at all. Through the use of cutting edge AI technology, one power will bring the Wheel of Time to life in exciting new ways, including expanded interactive applications. Fans are in for a real treat with interactive applications designed to enhance how they experience the story, including detailed interactive maps that will allow users to traverse the expansive world of the Wheel of Time. One power will simplify the exploration of both familiar and obscure locations within the Wheel of Time universe, empowering fans to craft original narratives that are seamlessly woven into the franchise lore. Again, they just haven't explained what they're using AI for. If they are using it in part of the processes for making this application interactive and having sort of like a back and forth with the user, fine. Comprehensive reference guides, AI enhanced reference guides will offer an invaluable resource with meticulous information on every facet of the story. We talked about this earlier. AI integrated products and services. One Power is designed to bring new capabilities to games, voice activated assistance, and customized merchandise, deepening user engagement and bringing surpassed levels of interactivity and personalization. Advanced gaming experiences, the AI powered gaming promises an enriched play experience, utilizing advanced AI algorithms to create dynamic, responsive environments and interactive story creation that evolves based on user decisions, providing a gaming experience that is as informative as it is engaging. This is the sort of thing I really don't want to see. Again, using it as a tool, like I said earlier, with dialogue and things, that makes sense. Having some sort of dynamic algorithm within the gameplay 
completely fine, but having it create stories and being able to branch off into different directions, you might as well just get good writers to write interesting side stories and different routes in the game. Artistic creativity, the one power is able to draw pictures, bringing to life the vivid imagery of the story from majestic landscapes to the intricate designs of Ace Adai wardrobes. The AI service will also be capable of composing stories and poetry inspired by the rich lore of the Wheel of Time. Yes, yeah, so they're going to use it for pretty much everything. Instead of hiring people who are taking an interpretation of this story, they're going to have a robot taking directly raw from the text, just pulling together from the asset pool that you've given this AI to create these very bland images. I hate it. I don't like that at all. No, no. No. Age appropriate and spoiler free options no matter where you are in the novels, TV shows, movies and games, users can experience a spoiler free experience that preserves the mystery and excitement of their real time experience. See that again is a usage that I can see AI being really useful for. Having it being able to stop users from running into spoilers if they've only read two or three books into the series, that's a good use of AI. AI can be such a useful tool and used in lots of different ways to help enhance different elements of games in some of these databases. But when it starts taking away from the human element, when we start seeing art with artifacts in it, when we start reading stories where it's just made up rehashed information instead of a person wanting to tell a story about a character, it loses the life that makes it special. It's a shame because I do think that AI gets a really bad name when it could be so useful in different ways. But when companies do things like this, where it's clearly a cash grab and you just slap a big IP on it, I hate it. I hate it so much and it really just drags the name AI through the mud. Creating this robotic, passionless media just to throw at the wall, hoping that it's going to bring you in some money, is so cheap and just dystopian. People aren't going to accept half-baked ideas. The one good thing is we are in an age where there is so much media and so many amazing talented teams and creatives making amazing books and films and TV shows and games that when we see something like this that's using AI and creating this just mindless consumption mentality of throwing these very big IPs at you, you can just sidestep it because there's plenty of other things to enjoy instead. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this news article? It's awful, isn't it? <laughs> and a huge thank you to my patrons who keep this channel alive. Over there, there is bonus videos, writing snippets of whatever I'm working on, and you also get to pick what books and then vote on what we read for the monthly book club. So thank you again, your support is huge. But thank you very much for watching. Outro. Just pay talented and passionate people. It's not difficult.